On this video, we are going to be talking about the air transport and the environment. The level of emissions of cars, industries, airplanes doesn't stop to increase. So, if we want to protect the world, we have to do something to tackle this issue. 2010 had this level of CO2 emissions. If nothing had, done, had been done, this level was going to be increasing with this path. So the industry said, well, if we have this in 2010 level, in 2050, we have to reduce by 50%. So from not taking actions, which the level in 2050 will be there, until here, a lot of things have to be done. Let's see what those are. The measures to reduce emissions that the aviation industry uh, is implementing are the following. First, is to use new technology. For instance, as we can see in the picture, we have an airline engine. By introducing new technology into aircraft engines, then we are aiming to reduce uh, fuel consumption, and then we are aiming to reduce uh, CO2 emissions. Second, by doing efficient operations. What does it mean? As we see in the picture here, if I am going to the airport and I am going like this, will be less efficient that I manage to do this in a straight line. So this could be a way to for efficient operations. But other thing will be to use the closest point from A to B, now often due to the use of old technology, then aircraft go around in order to go from A to B. Third measure is to improve infrastructure. For instance, at an airport where, which is very congested, means that airplanes have to wait for a long time before landing and taking off. It means that those planes consume a lot of extra fuel. What can we do? Well, if we build a new runway, it means that we are increasing the capacity of that airport. And that means that the airplanes will have to wait much less in order to land and take off, reducing the, the fuel consumption in those waiting paths. Fourth are economic measures. One of the ways the European Union has been incentivating airlines, and many airports do as well, is if you use one aircraft which consumes less fuel and is less noisy, then we are going to charge you a lower fee. But if you use a very noisy aircraft that consumes a lot of fuel, then I'm going to penalize you. So I'm going to charge you a higher fee. By economic measures like this, Airlines have an incentive to have more new aircraft with more efficient uh, technology on board. The measures we just saw to reduce emissions has some consequences. For instance, the reducing delays, as we see at the airport, if we increase capacity, uh, it's going to be less delays uh, for airplanes. Some of the measures are going to have fuel savings. Others are going to have capacity increases. That means with the same infrastructure, uh, by increasing the technology used, for instance, in the air traffic management technology, I am able to uh, have more aircraft in the same airspace. So it means increase in capacity. And last but not least, all those measures which contribute to reduce emissions also have a positive impact on safety. Thank you.